So there is something about human nature where I go, you know, it's, <laughs> it's like Borat, like my neighbor, like I, <laughs> like you start trouble. We 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 do start conflicts, and that's why games throughout, as I'm learning actually more and more, even in ancient history, serve the purpose of pushing people away from war, actually yes. hot war. So maybe we can figure out increasingly sophisticated video games that pull us, they they give us that. Uh, that Visceral, scratch the itch yeah. of like conflict, whatever that is about about us, the human nature, and then avoid the actual hot wars that would come with increasingly sophisticated technologies. Because we're now we've long past the stage where the weapons we're able to create can actually just destroy all of human civilization. Yeah. So it's no longer um, that's no longer a great way to to uh, start shit with your neighbor, it's better to play a game of chess. Or and, football. Or football, or, or, yeah. yeah. And I think, I mean, I think that's what my modern sport is so, and I love football, watching it, and and I just feel like, uh, and I used to play it a lot as well, and it's, 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 it's it's very visceral and it's tribal, mm -hmm. and I think it does channel a lot of those energies into a which I think is a kind of human need to belong to some some group, and um, but into a into a into a fun way, a, a healthy way, and and a not a not destructive way, kind of constructive uh, thing. And I think going back to games again is. I think they're originally why they're so great as well for kids to play things like chess is they're great little microcosm simulations of the world. Mm -hmm. they're, they're simulations of the world too. They're simplified versions of some real world situation, whether it's poker or, or go or chess, different aspects or diplomacy, mm -hmm. different aspects of, of the real world. And it allows you to practice at them too. And, and cause you know, how many times do you get to practice a massive decision moment in your life? You know, what job to take, what university to go to, you know, you, you get maybe, I don't know, a dozen or so key decisions one has to make, and you've got to make those as best as you can. Um, and games is a kind of safe environment, repeatable environment where you can get better at your decision-making process. Um, and it maybe has this additional benefit of channeling some energies into, uh, into more creative and constructive pursuits. Well, I think it's also really important to practice um, losing and winning. Right. Like losing is a really, you know, that's why I love games. That's why I love even um, things like uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Where you can get your ass kicked in a safe environment over and over. It reminds you about the way, about physics, about the way the world works, about the, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. You can still be friends with everybody. Yeah. But that, that feeling of losing, I mean, it's a weird one for us humans to like, really like makes sense of like that's just part of life that is a fundamental part of life is losing yeah and i think in martial arts as i understand it but also in things like light chess is a lot at least the way i took it it's a lot to do with self-improvement mm -hmm. self-knowledge you know that okay so i did this thing it's not about really being the other person mm -hmm. it's about maximizing your own potential if you do it in a healthy way you learn to use victory and losses in a way don't get carried away with victory and and think you're the, just the best in the world and 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 the losses keep you humble and always knowing there's always something more to learn there's always a bigger expert that you can mentor you you know i think you learn that i i'm pretty sure in martial arts and 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 i think that's also uh the way that at least i was trained in chess and so in the same way and it can be very hardcore and very important and of course you want to win but you also need to learn how to deal with setbacks uh, in a in a healthy way that and 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 why are that that feeling that you have when you lose something into a constructive thing of next time I'm going to improve this right or get better at this there is something that's a source of happiness a source of meaning that improvement stuff it's not about the winning or losing yes yeah, the mastery yeah there's nothing more satisfying in a way it's like oh wow this thing I couldn't do before now I can and 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 again games and physical sports and, and mental sports they're, wa they're ways of measuring they're beautiful because you can measure that that progress yeah right? I mean there's something about that like, is why I love role playing games like the uh number go up of like my, <laughs> yes, on the skill exactly. tree like literally that is a source of meaning for us humans whatever our yeah we're quite we're, we're quite addicted to this sort of <laughs> yeah these numbers going up and uh and, yeah. and, and 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 maybe that's why we made games like that because yeah. obviously that is something we're, we're we're hill climbing systems ourselves right yeah it's, it would be quite sad if we didn't have yeah. any mechanism by color belts <laughs> exactly. all of the, we, do, we do this everywhere right where we just have this thing that it's, it's great. and uh, i don't want to dismiss that there is a source of deep meaning for yeah. us humans